Hey Scorpio, really fast, just a quick bonus video for you because I appreciate your um, 230 plus views and I wanted to give the top six uh, most watched videos a bonus reading. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Clarifications and confirmations do Scorpio need at this time? What do we have for Scorpio? Uh oh, excuse me. What do we have for Scorpio? What clarifications and confirmations do we have for Scorpio at this time? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. oh, shoot. It fell on the side of my bed. I don't like what was happening. Alright. Sheesh. So we have suffering in silence. Okay, we got three cards came out. One second. Okay. We have suffering in silence, memories of love, and discontent and boredom. So someone is feeling like they missed out on an opportunity. But it's like they're not speaking up about it. They're keeping it to themselves. It's almost like this person really, really loved you. It could be a past person. Um, well, obviously it's a past person because it's memories. But it's like this person really loves you, but they never express themselves. Or as we know, it could also be you. You could have really felt very strongly for someone but you kept it to yourself just like you're keeping the fact that you missed them to yourself as well but yeah there, there's a missed opportunity here what do we have for Scorpio What do we have for Scorpio? The world. First card out, the world. What do we have for Scorpio? The lovers. What else do we have for Scorpio? Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. So you just try to see all the whole card. Um, Ace of Wands. And Ten of Wands. On the bottom, we have Page of Cups. All right, so there was some type of offer, some type of love offer uh, made towards you, some type of commitment. There was a commitment, maybe with someone from the past. This person um, could have been emotionally cold, like I already mentioned. Um, could have been this jealous lover. Um, and it's like the commitment wouldn't work. Either this is you or this is them, but it's like... It was definitely a karmic um, situation, and there was a very strong tie. And maybe someone is wanting to come back around and offer something, or you are wanting to come back around, or you are wanting this to come back around and offer something, but it's like no one is speaking up. And it's like when the opportunity to have the commitment was there, I feel like there was a lot of pride, a lot of ego um, in the way. The situation wasn't trusted. So now, Scorpio, you or they are feeling like, you know what, I want to I wanna be vulnerable. I want to be seen. I want to be transparent. That's what I should say, not be seen. But yeah, you do want to be seen. You want this person to see you as you see them, or they want you to see them as they see you. But um, before, I feel like there was just someone who did not allow themselves to be seen fully. 
and now it's like a new phase is taking place and it's like I want to be completely honest I want to be completely open but it's like you just don't know how to be you just don't know how to be and there's this this you were you were very passionate for this person you were very passionate for this person there was a a balance here there was a connection here lots of passion I see like love making outside like lots of like a very adventurous couple that lacked vulnerability though on both sides I feel like it for some of you and the yeah the lover is like so now you're in this space where you want to be vulnerable you want to offer this cup or they want to offer you this cup they want to be more nurturing they want to be more honest but it's almost like they don't know how to be sex could have been an issue they could have had multiple people and that could have been what um broke the relationship up or someone wanted a family, someone wanted to offer stability, someone wanted to offer security. I'm sorry, not stability, security. But someone was having way too much fun with other people. <laughs> and now they're left with this burden of losing you or you losing them there there someone is left with the burden of having a missed opportunity what is the world let's clarify the world for scorpio please let's clarify the world for scorpio please let's clarify the world for scorpio please five of pentacles yeah someone didn't feel Someone felt abandoned and didn't feel seen, didn't feel wanted, didn't feel worthy. Felt left out in the cold. Kind of someone just didn't know their worth. But I feel like you're coming out of that energy. But yeah, there's, there's worry here. There's worry that they lost their person. There's worry that once this person comes around, they whatever they have to offer... Either you won't want it or they won't offer it or you won't offer it. Or if you do offer it, they'll turn it down. Like, whoever this is, if this is you or if this is them. Let's clarify the lovers, please, for Scorpio. Fool. You want a new start in love with this person. You want a new experience with them. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Something flipped over. Maybe two, the Empress. Yeah, you see this person as someone you can grow with. And I feel like that wasn't expressed before, either on their side or your side. Here we have the world again. You want to experience something brand new with the fool. You want to experience love with them. But you're just so, you, you're, you or they are so worried that what you have to offer isn't enough. It's almost as if you don't know your worth or they don't know theirs. Or they're just scared. They're just scared. They're focused more on fear and not on love. And they're not speaking up. Suffering in silence. They are not speaking up. It's almost like looking at this picture, it's like they know they, they are so drawn to your light. They know how good and warm you make them feel. They know how at home you make them feel. But they're so used to this coldness and not having to talk about things and not having to be honest about things that they'd rather suffer in silence than to speak up and tell you how they feel take the chance than to take the chance on being rejected Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio? What's the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio? I'm hoping this makes sense to someone. I know I'm kind of all over the... Oh, no! Dang. Sorry about that. Um, to clarify the Ten of Pentacles, we got Princess of Pentacles, which is an apology, an offer. Maybe for not uh, being able to... Maybe for not being able to offer you anything before because they're so defensive with the Seven of Wands. They're so defensive that they know they could not give you what you wanted. Um, or they were defensive when you wanted them to give you what you wanted. 
Um, but it's Wheel of Fortune. They're seeing the, the, what is it? The abundance in this relationship. They're seeing the opportunity for abundance and growth in this relationship. That's what I should say. They're seeing how beautiful it could be. They're seeing that y'all could be like make money together and build together and grow together. And they're wanting that. They're seeing you as a Ten of Pentacles. They're seeing you as this abundant light. Like where before they may have just been seeing you as sex. And they felt like it was a burden when you would want a commitment from them. When you would try to, you know, express yourself. They would kind of, unfortunately, like kind of like write it off. You know, like wouldn't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix this. Like wouldn't, would be dismissive about your feelings. What do we have for the Ace of Wands for Scorpio? What do we have for the Ace of Wands for Scorpio? What do we have for the Ace of Wands for Scorpio? I'm scared to mix the cards. Ace of Wands, wow, two of cups. Yes, like I said, it's not so much about just about sex anymore. It's about a new beginning in love. And they're still extremely passionate about you. And they realize this major, this beautiful connection that you all have. And they want to experience that with you. And it is so heavy and such a burden for them. I even feel like if this person was seeing other people, it became to be too much of a burden. It's like, yeah, I have all of these wands, but I lost the one wand that, like, lit up my whole world. And now they can't, they can't sleep. They, they can't get over that. They can't get over the fact that they may have lost you. What's the Ten of Wands about? Oh, slipped right out. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. It's about the Two of Wands. So they're making a decision to come towards you. They're making a decision to come towards you. I feel like they've gotten control. Some of them may have really had like a sex addiction, but they've gotten control over their fears. They're kind of like in this rebirth. I want to get another card for Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. One more card for this Ten of Wands, please. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they, I feel like they are feeling more, they've made the decision to kind of settle down. That's what I feel like. They're making a the decision to become more um, of a, more of a secure, they, it's like they're choosing, choosing security over passion. It's like, y'all, I really don't need 10 different men or I really don't need... Ten different women. I really don't need, need multiple men or women. I need one that's going to make me feel safe, make me feel good. On the bottom, again, we have the four of cups. Again, they feel like they've lost someone that they really had a lot of fun with. They feel like it's a missed opportunity. But I'm feeling like for some of you, it's that, that one cup is still there. So it may not be over. It may not be what they think it is, what they've made it to be in their heads, in their minds. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? I hope y'all are following. Sorry I had to edit so much. I'm a little disastrous with these cards flying off of my bed. Change and progress. Yeah, I feel like this person has definitely... Uh, made some changes where they used to be kind of participating in risque behavior and just kind of their emotions used to be all over the place and they weren't um, comfortable with their emotions. They're, they found um, peace now and they know what they want and they want you. They want you. na na. All right. Let's get a few cards for Scorpio, please. I normally try to get three of these. Let's get a few cards for Scorpio, please. A few cards for Scorpio, please. A few cards for Scorpio. About three cards for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Oh, uh-uh. Listen, this reading, I might stop after this because this is a lot. Three cards for Scorpio, please. Like nothing is coming out. 
Three cards for Scorpio, please. This person is really like, has gone through a transformation though, for sure. Three cards for Scorpio. Okay, thank you. Sheesh. Here we have the, we have clarity, wow, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So yeah, I feel like this person is definitely stepping into their power and they've been shown like clarity, like, gosh, like this is really someone I love. This is really someone I don't want to lose. The fact that I'm even afraid to lose them, but they're, I feel like they're going to speak up. The chaser and what do we have? <gasps> wow. Look at this. The chaser and the runner. Mm. I actually want to get some more cards. So one of you, th this was a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues, yeah. And then here we go. Wow. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. And that's who this person is. And then chaser, and I think I mentioned ego earlier. And chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Wow. But the truth is coming out. And they're realizing that they ran from the wrong person. That instead of running from you, they should have been running to, to you. I'm going to get about two more cards for Scorpio. One fell out already. And here's one more. Let's go. Or let's get one more. Two. Okay. So we have... Abundance. I said that. This person sees that you all can be abundant together. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Definitely. This person, whatever they experience, it has been made known to them. They've had gotten clarity that you have been the one all along. And they, they really messed up. Like I said, they ran from the wrong person. And now they see you as, wow, you are someone I can be with. So, and, and you are someone I can grow with in love, in life in finances, in happiness, you know? So now, although they're grateful for the experience they had with you, they're also afraid that they may have lost you. And even if they haven't lost you for good, this time where y'all haven't been together, they, they, they haven't been happy. You may think like, oh, they probably out there with all them women, or they probably out there with all them guys, whatever. They have not been happy. They feel like they really messed up. And they're thinking about you heavy, but they're not speaking on it. Not at this moment, but I feel like they're going to make the decision to speak on it. And they're going to offer you um, something that has a lot more stability than what they are trying to give you before. Because it's too much of a burden not speaking about it. So I feel like they're going to, <laughs> I feel like they're going to have some liquid courage and they're going to be texting you or calling you. Or just for some of y'all pumping the bachelor door, like, look, I love you. I apologize. And I want you back. Whew. Thank you for tuning in. This was a lot. This was a lot. <laughs> uh, with the cards flying all crazy. Um, definitely going to have to edit it. But good luck. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you again for the views.